begin our class. We're gonna start as always with the tune in, just connecting with ourselves and bringing the attention back here. And it's going to be followed by the pranayama, so have your tissues close to you. So we're going to begin by sitting comfortably. You can cross your legs so you can sit on your heels. If you have a cushion, it's okay. We're gonna be doing this for about 10 minutes. So you can sit on a cushion if you want to. I invite you to close your eyes for a moment or gaze to the tip of your nose. And let's begin with posture. Let's start paying attention to our bodies, to our body posture. Make sure the sitting bones are on the ground so you can shift your hips side to side, grounding yourself. Relax your arms. Rest your hands on your knees or in the middle, making sure you're not putting any tension on your arms. Relax your shoulders. Let's bring the shoulders up, back, and down, keeping the chest open but the shoulders relaxed. Elongate the spine. Imagine a string going through the bottom of your spine all the way up to the crown of your head. And that string is being pulled, helping you to elongate the spine. And relax the muscles of your face. Squeeze them out, make sure your teeth, you're not putting any tension in your mouth, your jaw, in between your eyebrows. relax your face. And let's breathe in and out through the nose. Explore our breath, natural breath. We're not changing it. We're not controlling it. We're just observing the breath. Take a look at the pattern. Going fast, slow. Look at the length of your breath. And pay attention how your body is moving to the rhythm of your breath, how your chest and abdomen rises and falls as you breathe in and breathe out. Stay connected to your breath, allowing it to bring you back to this moment. Allow yourself to be fully present for the practice. From this space of awareness, scan your body from your toes up to the head. See if you find any discomfort, pain, or tension in any part of your body. And breathe in and breathe out. Pay attention to the mind now. Take a look at your thoughts going around in circles, coming and going, moving fast or slow. And choose to pay no attention to your thoughts, to give all your attention to your breath. Put the palms together in front of our hearts. Let's set an intention for our practice today. Inhale. 
Inhale deep. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands back to your knees. Bring your head up and back. And start making circles with your head around the neck. We're gonna start loosening up in the area of the neck and shoulders, the chest, before we actually start our pranayama. So just make nice and gentle, big circles with the head going around the neck, all the way to one side, all the way to the back, all the way to the other side, and all the way to the front, getting the chin very close to the chest. Now let's make those circles to the other side. And slowly, let's come back to neutral position and start rolling the shoulders back in circles. We make big circles. Letting go all that tension that we put in our upper body, our shoulders, head, neck, upper back. Now we make the circles to the front. And slowly release. Inhale, bring your shoulders up. Exhale, drop them down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Nice, open your eyes, grab a t-shirt. We're gonna begin with our pranayama, so if you need to clean your nose, go ahead, do it now. And let's begin cleansing and awakening the fire within. So we're gonna do the few versions of Kapalabhati, breath of fire, but we're gonna start with the slow one, which is, um, similar to Kapalapati, but we're going to put the same emphasis in the inhalation as the exhalation, and then we move into the Kapalapati. So in this one, I want you to place your right hand on your belly and your left hand on top of the right, just to feel and sense how your um, abdomen through the diaphragm expands and contracts, okay? Don't push your stomach, just keep your hands there. And as in Kapalabhati, we take a deep breath in and then we just concentrate on the sharp and rapid exhalations only. In this one today, to begin with, we're going to concentrate in the inhalation and the exhalation, but we're also going to make them sharp and as fast as we can, but it's definitely going to be slower than Kapalabhati. So I'm going to show you first for a moment. So we just inhale. So it's the same concept, but we are doing putting attention on the inhalation and the exhalation as well, all right? So let's begin the practice. Right hand on the belly, left hand on top, and close your eyes on your own pace. Inhale, exhale.
bring your hands back to your knees with your eyes closed. Take a moment to go back to your natural breath. And just observe what's happening in your body. If you're feeling the heat already, if you feel a little dizzy, it's normal. And now we begin the Kapalabhati. And Kapalabhati the, is a deep inhalation. And then all we do is exhaling, like you're blowing your nose, but you're gonna go a little faster than before. So it looks something like this for those who don't remember. So the inhalation will just happen, but we are concentrated on the exhalation. Ready? Right hand on the belly. If you want to continue to be aware of that movement of your abdomen. Inhale. to your knees, keep your eyes closed, come back to your natural breath, just pay attention to what's happening in your body, allow the heat to awaken, allow the heat to just move around your whole body, breathe in and breathe out. And now we're going to do the calming breath. So you can open your eyes. You're gonna place your right hand on your belly and your left hand on top of your chest. And you're gonna breathe in two parts. So you're gonna inhale. And as you inhale, you start inflating the belly, bringing the air up to your chest, inflate the chest. And as you exhale, you're gonna start emptying your chest and bringing the air down to the belly as you empty it all, okay? And for that, we're gonna do a counting. So we're gonna inhale to four, exhale, counting four. Ready? Let's inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, and four. And then slowly release, bring your hands back to your knees and open your eyes. If you were sitting on a cushion, just put the cushion on the side. We're gonna begin our yoga part of the session. So just sit on the floor with your legs crossed. Keep your spine elongated, elongated and your shoulders relaxed. Let's inhale, bring both arms up as high as you can, stretch in your torso and your arms. Look up to the middle of your hands. Hold your breath. And as you exhale, open up your arms and start twisting to the right side, placing the right hand behind the back and the left hand on top of the right knee. Now, as you continue the twist, look over your right shoulder. Come back to center. Inhale, bring both arms up. Stretch. 
look up, hold the breath, exhale, twist to the left side, open up your arms, right hand on top of the left knee, left hand behind the back. And come back to center. Inhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. Now from here, you're gonna bring the arm that it was behind the back, the right hand, you're gonna bring it all the way up. Inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to lean to the front. Bringing the left shoulder a little closer to the knee. And keep that arm over your head to get a deeper stretch of the side of your body. And come back to center. Inhale, bring both arms up. As you exhale, you twist to the left. And now bring the left arm up, the one that is behind the back, and lean to the front, bringing the right shoulder closer to that knee. And come back to center. Very nice. Let's bring the hands back to the knees. Let's roll the shoulders back a little bit. We're gonna work on the upper back, mainly, and the arms. And then we're gonna go to the lower and the second part of the class. So let's bring the arms up this time like we did before, but I want you to interlace your fingers. So I'm gonna do it here because I don't think you get to see my whole body. So just extend your arms with your fingers interlaced. And if you can, relax your shoulders and start bringing your arms slightly back. That's going to give you a deeper stretch. Don't lean back. Just your arms will come a little farther away from your head towards the back of the room. Now take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, lean to the right side. Inhale, back center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back center. Exhale to the left. And come back to center and release your arms down. Very good. Let's place the right elbow on top of the left elbow. And we're gonna make some pretzels with the arms. So you can just do whatever you can without forcing your body. This will be good if your hands are slightly separated. If you can put them together, it's also good. And if you can kind of interlace your fingers somehow or interlace your arms a little more, that's also good. So wherever you are, you are in the center. And you're gonna start bringing those elbows to the distance, the same line where your shoulders are. So bring them a little higher. And you just go to the side so you can see it better. So you just bring it high to the line of your shoulders. And as you gaze to the front, bring your shoulders down, keep your spine straight, and let's hold this pose for five full breaths. And slowly bring them down, let them go. And if you need to move your arms and shoulders, and move your wrist in circles, feel free to do so. Let's do the other side. Let's bring 
the left elbow on top of the right. And this is just to get a nice deep stretch on your upper back. It's like someone is hugging you, helping you to stretch. So left elbow on top, let's bring the elbows up to that line of your shoulders. Your spine remains straight. And slowly release, let go. You can move your shoulders back. You can shake your arms. You can move your wrists in circles. Now let's bring the hands in front of you. Slice them forward, coming up onto table pose. So let's go onto all fours. Let's spread your fingers, shoulders right over your wrists, hips right over your knees. Let's do cat and cow. Inhale, arch your back, opening up your chest. Look up. Exhale, round your back, bring your hips to the front, chin to the chest. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round the back. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do it five more times on your own pace. Do one more time. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round it and come back to neutral. From table pose, I'm gonna move back a little bit so I get more space in the front. From table pose, bring the elbows down to the floor. And I want you to be mindful of keeping your hips right above your knees. And then from here, if you can, extend your arms to the front, dropping that chest to the floor or getting it closer to your mat. You can place your chin or your forehead on the floor. And slowly release, walk back, start walking back with your hands coming right back onto table pose. Now let's inhale, bring the right arm up. As you exhale, you're going to bring that right arm under the left, dropping the right shoulder and the side of the face on the mat. Extend the left arm to the front or you can bring it up or you can bring it behind your back to reach for your opposite thigh. And let's just hold that pose for five full breaths. And it's slowly come back up, table pose. And let's do the other side. Inhale, bring the left arm up. As we exhale, bring the left arm underneath. Drop the side of the face on the mat and extend the right arm to the front. Or you can bring it up or you can bring it behind your back. And slowly come back up. Take your time, come back onto table pose. From table pose, move your hips from side to side. 
Let's do a variation of the cat and cow, but adding some hip work. So let's bring the right leg up and back as high as you can. And then from here, bring it towards the chest and back. And then from here, bring it towards your right elbow and back. To the chest and back. To the elbow, back. Chest, back. Elbow, back, chest, back, elbow, and back. And now bring it down, switch, bring the left leg up and back, bring it towards the chest and bring it back to the elbow, back, chest, back, elbow, back, chest, back elbow, back, one more time, chest, back, elbow, and back, and down, spread your knees as wide as the mat or wider, sit on your heels, and extend your arms forward as you drop the chest and forehead to the mat. Now very slowly start lifting those hips and bring them all the way to the front as close as you can to the front of your mat and then bring it back to your heels again let's create some movements inhale bring it to the front drop exhale back be very gentle with the body honor your body where it is at this moment inhale exhale one more time inhale exhale and now let's stay here again walk with the hands back start seating up as we close the knees and go into child pose now sit on your heels extend the arms forward drop the forehead and we're gonna do the same thing now but from child pose here your hips will be able to get closer to the floor and as they get close squeeze your glutes inhale come up Drop those hips, squeeze the glutes, coming into King Cobra, look up, Bhujangasana. Exhale, go back onto Child Pose, Balasana. Inhale, King Cobra. Exhale, Child Pose. Inhale, King Cobra. Exhale, Child Pose. One more time, inhale, King Cobra. Exhale, Child Pose. Very nice. Come back onto table pose now. Tuck your toes under. Let's move into downward facing dog. Lift the knees off the mat. Lift your hips up to the sky. Try to drop your heels to the floor. Now with your hands, your fingers are spread. You're going to push the mat away, stretching your arms fully and relaxing your shoulders and your head. So you're basically making a pyramid with your body. Let's stay in down dog for five full breaths. This is going to help us stretch our whole bodies. And let's move it a little bit as we breathe in and out. Slightly bend the right knee as to keep the left leg straight pedaling and then switch. Switch, 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 and switch. Come back to center, inhale, bring the heels up. Exhale, drop them down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. One more time, inhale, up, exhale, down. Let's stay here in downward facing dog for three more breaths. And release, bring your knees down to the floor. Sit on your heels. Walk with your hands back, coming into a sitting pose. And let's extend the legs to the front. Before we do some work with the legs and the lower body, let's interlace the fingers and give some love to the wrist. The 
release. Sitting bones are on the ground. Let's bring the right foot inside of the inner left thigh. Palms together in front of the heart. Inhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, fall forward, fall from your hips. And once you reach your point, lower your hands to your mat, to your leg, or if you happen to be able to reach to your foot, but do not stress your shoulders to try to reach. Let's connect with the breath and use it to go deeper. Take a deep breath in, lift the chest, exhale, fall forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And once you reach your point, look at point, look at your knee and just hold it here. Slowly come back up. Bring the right hand behind the back, the left hand on top of the knee, and just twist towards the right side. Look over your shoulder. Let's bring the arm that is behind the back up, like we did before at the beginning. And then you knee to the front, bringing the left elbow close, the left arm shoulder closer to the knee. And your arm, your right arm, is over your head. If you can go closer to your feet, you're going to go ahead and grab your feet as long as the head stays under your arm. Now come back to center. Keep the right hand behind the back. Bring that left arm up, the one that was on top of the knee. And as we press onto the knee that it's bent, let's lift the body, ground the back, the left foot, and continue to lift that body, pushing the hips to the front. And slowly start sitting down, square the hips back to front, and switch the legs, extend the right, and bend the left. Put the palms together in front of the heart. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fall forward. Go all the way down. Hands on the mat, leg, foot. Your spine straight, your shoulders are relaxed. You fold it from your hips. Follow the rhythm of your breath. Every time you exhale, you go deeper. And come back up slowly. Let's bring the right hand on top of the left knee. We cross left hand behind the back and let's twist. Look over the shoulder. From here, let's bring the arm that it's behind the back up and lean to the front. to center, left hand behind the back, right arm up, let's press into the knee and lift the body, pushing the hips towards the front. And very slowly sit down, square the hips, extend both legs and shake them. 
We're gonna lie down on the back, keep the knees bent. Take a moment here to just relax your back on the floor. And let's start with the bridge. Walk with your feet towards your hips and start lifting your hips up and simultaneously start walking with the shoulder blades in, like opening the chest. Your hands can reach for the heel, can be interlaced behind the back, or you can grab your lower back and support it with your hands by keeping the elbows on the floor. Your feet are on the ground, your glutes are squeezed, your chest is going towards your chin, and you're breathing in and breathing out. And slowly bring your hips down to the floor, knees to your chest, hug them and rock yourself side to side. Massage your back with the floor. Now coming back to center, knees together, let's drop them to the right side. As you extend the left arm to the left and look at your left hand and just final twist. Bring your knees to the left, extend the right arm to the right, and look at your right hand. Come back to center. You're gonna start rocking yourself back and forth now as you hug your knees and you can use the momentum to sit up or you can just simply sit up. And we're going to prepare for our zazen time. So grab a cushion. If you put your rakusu, um, go ahead and get ready for our meditation. Let's begin
this day, meditating for a few more minutes. Otherwise, put the palms together in front of your heart. Remembering the intention you set at the beginning of the class. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. And we finish our class saying Namaste. Thank you.